Hey guys, welcome back to the Coon Hub. The New York subway shooting is all over the media, and the person of interest is the one you're looking at on your screen. His name is Frank James, a YouTuber, who runs the channel The Prophet of Truth 88. Now, in analyzing his channel, based on what he's said, I can guarantee that they will try to use this tragedy to demonize red pill creators. Don't fall for it. That's not what we're about. We don't promote violence. They won't be able to make that case, however. Because if they're gonna say that the red pill made him do this, then we need to get rid of tons of music and movies. They know it will be a foolish excuse, but they will try it anyway, because they can't stand what we're about. Enlightenment for men. We must all stand our ground. Do not be shamed or feel embarrassed for who you are. Now go ahead and hit that like button to support what I do. I really appreciate it. Talking about this NYC person on the subway, who took his misguided Second Amendment and sprayed up the place. There's certain things that you can't say within the first minute of a YouTube video, so I'm trying to use coded language. We have Frank R. James well, on the screen. Queen. Heels, fan, and manosphere, dusty. He, I'm sorry. This is what I'm sending to the text notification squad. I'm telling them the real. Let me get the, the URL for them. So that they can get the link mm. to come over. Come over now. Exclamation point. TKO text squad. That way everybody knows where it came from. The person that you hear in the background is the alleged shooter. The This Frank R. James. This is a video that he did talking about Kevin Samuels. And how Kevin Samuels knows how to put a black woman in her place. I just want you to hear. I just want you to hear. Just, just listen, listen. Wait, where's my thing? I'm sorry, I'm all over the place because I'm trying to get this screenshot. I'm trying well, to Kevin Samuel is the female whisperer, or, or, or more correctly said, the black female whisperer. <laughs> For real, man. I watched this guy work, and I'm really in awe of this cat. The way he takes control, and the way he, I don't know how to say this shit. He just, he's such. He, I, I've never heard anybody on YouTube that I know of be able to shut a black female down what the f else is the black man supposed to do i watched this guy work and i'm really in awe of this cat the way he takes control and the way he i don't know how to say this shit, he just he shuts he, I, i've never heard anybody on youtube that i know of be able to shut a black female this is down again with another video this video was about frank james subway shooter Prophet of Truth 88, known YouTuber in this space. That's right. Some of y'all know by now that um, the subway shooter, he already been identified um, as Frank James. But what you don't know that he is a YouTuber on here, actually a known YouTuber that was on several of the brothers that's in this space panel. BGS is one of them, a few others too. He was mostly pro black and stuff. You know, um, he has harsh rhetoric apparently. You know, talking about, you know, race war this and that and third, you know. Some people say he has some little hatred toward black women and all this. Um, but anyway, um, I remember this brother being on certain dudes' panels in his space. You know, um, this is going all the way back to like 2016, 17. Um, but um, his channel has been deleted. YouTube <laughs> deleted his channel real quick, right out to CNN. You know, did a piece on, you know, Frank James, him being a YouTube with um, vile content, stuff like that. Then uh, MSNBC did the same thing. And then I'm sure Fox too. And, you know, um, I'm sure that the FBI is looking in to him now, and not only that, the people he was subscribed to on YouTube, and a few of them are Kevin Samuels, Brian Salange. Uh, that is bullshit. Uh, um, Hassan Camel, I think it was Tasha K. I think it was. Some other other people when it was pro black, but some of the people you probably already know already. But um, um, tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. <laughs> it's time.
time to get to the chopper. It's time to get to the chopper. Seem like being associated with the black manosphere is bad for your channel. <laughs> Jeez, get to the chopper. So until next time, I'll see you later. Peace. All right, Shay, what's up, YouTube? It's Prophet Doom back to you again for another video. And I figure, you know, spend a few minutes um, on camera because uh, I had some, well, a couple things I want to talk about. The first thing I want to talk about, if you haven't checked it out, I have a new video posted on FS Avenger. Uh, it's been about three, four days. You know, um, that I, I, I entitled it Real N Words versus Real Men. It's over. One of the biggest manhunts in New York history ended today with the arrest of the suspect cops believe carried out the subway mass shooting that caused utter terror during rush hour. While making his way to New York, the suspect filmed himself in a rented van, clearly full of anger. Les Trent begins our coverage. They got him. The madman who cops say unleashed havoc on a New York subway train was captured today wandering around Manhattan. The NYPD says tips started pouring in after they released a wanted poster for the suspect, Frank James. A civilian spotted him walking down Canal Street in Lower Manhattan. Another witness saw him at this McDonald's. Police responded to the report that the suspect was inside this McDonald's, but when they got here, he was not inside. They did, however, find him just a few blocks away, and you will not believe what he was doing. Witnesses say the man who allegedly wreaked so much havoc on this city was simply standing right here, charging his phone. I see. I see the guy. We catch the guy, man. The arrest at 1.42 p.m. was captured on video by multiple bystanders. You ought to die. You ought to James is 62 years old, a drifter who posts angry videos on YouTube under the moniker Prophet of Truth. I am driving, I am driving, I am driving. A day-by-day -day timeline is emerging from the video diary. Last month, he was living in Milwaukee when he suddenly packed up and drove to Philadelphia. I'm heading back into the danger zone, so to speak. You know, um, and it's triggering a lot of negative thoughts, of course. From Philadelphia, cops say he rented a U-Haul van and drove to New York. That's the van crossing the Verrazano Bridge in Brooklyn the morning of the subway attack. In this exclusive surveillance video obtained by WCBS, we see a man who looks like Frank James disguised as a construction worker walking to the subway to allegedly carry out the bloody assault. Notice he's carrying a tote and wheeling around a bag that police say contained a hatchet, two gas canisters, a 9mm handgun with three extended magazines. Also, a stash of fireworks that he bought in Wisconsin. 